And if you want to make cloth or you want to play with cloth and you're wondering what cloth simulation tool is best for you, today we have a couple of things which you need to know with a free plugin which you can download off the internet and you can use this for so many things, ranging from playing with clothes by simply dragging them, by collapsing them, sewing and doing some crazy stuff which you never thought you could do with clothes simulation directly in Blender. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So today we're looking at some, you know, add-ons that is very, very interesting. And I did find this one very, very uh, lovely. And it has to do with cloths. So recently we did talk about how you can play with the cloths, you know, the whole cloth thing that has to do with the new version of Blender 2.83 and, you know, the whole sculpting side of things. And we also talked about the pressure feature that's also coming to cloth. So just in case you haven't seen those videos, link is going to be in the description for you to check those. Today we're looking at something slightly different and it has to do with modeling clothes in some scale. Now this is not your default way of modeling clothes. It's more like a very interesting way. I did find the simulation of this one very fast and it's actually a bit faster than the default simulation that you can get inside of Blender. Now if you want to get this going, I'm going to put a link in the description where you can find this and where you can download it as well. Now with Blender Open, what we want to do is simply go over to Edit and go to Preference. You're going to find out that we have our default preference here and we'll hit the Install button. I'll move over to the System Reserve and open up the Clot. Now the name of the plugin is Modeling Clot. Now next thing which I need to do is click here and get this going. Unlike some other software where you have to restart after loading an add-on, Blender is just so awesome that once you turn on the add-on, it's directly in there. To access this, you have to press N on your keyboard and you'll be able to find this about here. So it is called Modeling Clot Panel. Now how this gets going is simple. For example, if I simply hit Shift and A and bring out a very simple grid, let's scale this grid a little bit and simply move this grid a little bit upwards. And if I simply hold down Z and move over to wireframe, you can see the topology of this object. All right, very simple. Next thing which I want to do is add a collider. Now, the reason why I'm adding this collider actually is so that you guys can see how these things work. Of course, I'm not using the collider right now. Subdivide this a little bit more. I think it's best to actually get a bit more subdivision and I'm going to tap out. I'm also going to press Z and switch over to solid so you guys can see that. This is where the magic begins. The magic actually begins once you click on this button and say modeling clot. As simple as it is, this is already automated there is simulation running through this thing and you have no idea because once you come over here and say continuous update and click on grab you can see where the magic happens i have no words for this all right so let's go back right click and simply switch this to smooth shading next thing which i want to do now is come through and go back and click on grab and you know you can get this cool stuff going now if you want to go back to your default setting or you want to go back to the default way which things were before you actually started messing things up like right now what you want to do is simply right click and hit reset and you have that right there now with reset done i would like this thing to have some sort of self collusion i don't want to be bothered about this thing colliding with itself so i need to come over here and click on self collision now once you turn on self collision and hit grab one more time and shake this bad boy you're going to see that we're having those magic happening the self colliding thing is going on there everybody's freaking happy and it is very very interesting so with this you can automatically start seeing the amazing things that you can create with this going from very abstract animations that you can create with this thing i i, I kind of feel that you know there is practically no need for the cloth simulation right now no i'm kidding you can actually use the cloth simulator but then this does a whole lot of job in a different level that I feel like the artist is unappreciated and I really want to know what you guys think about this. Next thing which I would like to do is show you guys how you can actually make things stick. Right now you can see that from what we have here things are just on their own and they're just feeling unnecessarily happy when we touch them. So what we want to do right here is to go and create pins. So I can choose to create a pin here, I can also create a pin here and I can create a pin right here. Now what this pin does is whenever I click on the grab and start grabbing this you can see it still pins that right there. You don't need to start doing all the transform pinning stuff that you get to do whenever you're working with clothes. You can just simply pin this here and you can get incredible things going. Actually, if you want to see some more crazy stuff, you may want to get this stopped. And then, you know, once you get this to stop, you can go through, bake this and add some 
very very interesting things to it so i'm just going to keep that pin right there i actually want to pin one more thing here just to see what's going to go on hit on the grab and just simply grab this and oh my goodness you can see what you can do with this so next thing which i want to show you guys is this i want to show you guys how we can do our regular boring clothes simulation all right right now i kind of find that the normal clothes simulation we do is a bit boring owing to the fact that you have this tool and you can do so many things with it i'm also going to move this a little bit upwards and switch over to wireframe and let's subdivide this bad boy a little bit subdivide subdivide actually just click here and just do this subdivision how much you want and if you think you're tired with this then hit the subdivide one more time and do that again all right so we have something really cool and all right i have this i like this i'm also going to tap out tap out now i have this tapped out and next thing i need to do is press g and just simply raise this a little bit upwards and i'm also going to come here and say modeling clots and i have modeling clots right there self collision yes we want that so next thing i need to do is make sure i have this selected and i have to select this and change this to collider now with this set to collider everyone is excited all right so everyone is excited until we come over here and say continuous update you can now come over here where you have your gravity and you can start turning gravity down so you put gravity minus one and it starts falling we all love gravity gravity makes us stick to the ground and you can see sweet lord god almighty this is really cool so let's go through and just simply turn this and say reset please and turn gravity back to zero and simply press that right there and let's reset this bad boy a little bit i think because i had to set that thing all the way to one that's why it's dragging all that way so if i simply turn this to 0.08 and have the gravity do that i think it's going to be a bit better all right so you can also choose to get things like springs you can also choose to have some contact flaws you can see so many things you can have all right you can actually increase the amount of wind where you want wind to blow this up to depending on what you want this is crazy crazy in the sense that i really wish that you know things were this simple you know you just have dials dials you don't need to cram all of those modifiers and stuff i just really wish life was this simple now i need life to be this simple all right so i need 0.1 and we can get 0.1 let's reset this one more time and you can see we have the wind blowing towards that side if you want to have some sort of turbulence you can make the turbulence zero point something actually i think we can also increase the amount of velocity if we want let's make this crazy so you can see we have huge velocity happening right here and you can see that really quick really quick all of these things crazy stuff you can create all right crazy stuff so if you want to get this plugin like i said earlier link is going to be in the description but before you hit the description to go get this thing there's also some things which i think that you guys need to be in the knowing of all right so some things which i think you guys need to be in the knowing is you already see how velocity kind of controls almost everything that's happening so if i turn velocity to 0.8 and press the enter key you see velocity is making things happen and now velocity has nothing to do so if i make this 0.8 and also go through and play with the you know the gravity and make the gravity 0.02 you can also notice that gravity you know plays a huge role you can choose to play with the noise depending on what you want and you can also choose to inflate this bad boy now let's talk about that inflate in a bit because you know some people will be like all right what if you want to create pillows and stuff okay now we'll talk about that inflate so that's one of the features that's coming over to blender 2.82 and also 2.83 and to see that there's a free plugin that actually does this you know makes me smile let's reset this bad boy a little bit one more time and i'm just simply going to delete that right there delete this other one now i'm also going to come over here and create a very simple torus now the torus which we have directly here i'm also going to simply increase this torus a little bit and i'm also going to simply create a very small plane i need this plane to be my ground plane my ground plane in the sense that it's my contact floor and i want to have this go all the way up g z upwards you know and we have this there z z and we move over to solid if you want to get a mesh that is quite dense simply make all of these things ready before you commit to making the clots all right so simply make all of these things ready before you commit to making the clot because if you don't you may have issues working with this so the whole idea of going back making changes to the mesh and coming back to using the whole thing may not work as as much but for the most part you need to make sure that this is the object you want to use for the clothes and you know you can now go ahead and commit to it now let's talk about the other part that has to do with inflate so if you have this object here and i throw this one right in here 
you will notice it takes a while to calculate this because this is a dense mesh and what we want to do is set this to continuous update and you will notice that it's also going to take a little while to get this up and running and now i would come over here and simply throw in the word inflate so for the inflate we can do 0.03 and see what we have and you can see that right there it seems to be too big we don't like that it's too big so i'm just going to make this zero and you can see it comes all the way comes all the way down all right come down buddy so one thing which we want to do is simply hit the reset button now with the reset button done let's take a look at something else now there's one more thing which i actually there's multiple stuff but i think for this video there is one more thing which i think you guys definitely definitely need to know you can sew in here so in case you want to sew stuff directly in here let's just simply get a brand new scene like new scenes so i'm just going to get a brand new scene next thing which i want to do is simply add a very very simple grid so i'm also going to scale this grid a little bit more let's tap right into the grid right click and subdivide this grid just to be sure that this is what we want i'm also going to tap out for some reason actually don't tap out tap in and i'm also going to go through and hold down shift and D to duplicate and raise this all the way up. I'm not selecting anything at this point because I would like to select the non-manifold, which simply means selecting the edges. And I can get this going by simply going over to select, go all the way down here and say select all by trait and non-manifold. And this is this is it, guys. And once you have this, you can come over here and simply click on so lines and once you have that so lines there i'm also going to tap out all right tap out of the edit mode tap out all right and then i'm going to come through and click on modeling clots and once i click on modeling clots you can see that we have that here and with this going on i'm just going to click on continuous update and probably the next thing you want to do is come all the way down here and say so force now once you click on the sewing force you have yourself a very nice pillow that you can sleep on and now we can come through and throw in a very subdivision stuff and you know put on the smooth shading face so in case you want to get smooth shading you can get that there and that's about it guys i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section if you want to play with clots you want to play with these two link to it is going to be in the description and also link to the gum road and you know relevant links to the creator of this is also going to be in the description so you can check this thing out you can play with all of these interesting features and if you like this and you love what you see you can also support the artist by donating and you know play with this to make some very fun stuff and create some very interesting things for yourself and yes this is about it i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video you learned something from it you know what to do go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this Peace.